Hey guys, welcome back to WP Event Manager. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a static page and enable or disable filter by tags. So this is a uh, so this is achievable via a single line of shortcode and possible by our event tags add-on. So to get or obtain the shortcode, we need to visit the official website at wp-eventmanager.com. And from the knowledge base, we'll be able to see and explain the shortcode we are going to use. So at the footer section, you will find a knowledge base link. In here, you will have a ton of great article and or setup guides. Feel free to check them out as per your convenience but the topic for today's is event tags so let's go inside event tags knowledge base and we will obtain the short code requires for this video so we will select this section over here and we need to copy this short code over here i will explain what the short code does and what the show tags parameter is in a short moment so for now, let's create a new page. You can of course embed this into a existing page of yours as well. But for me, I am using a short code in a new page. So let me switch it to code editor as well. That's pretty convenient for editing short codes. And let's type in our page name. So let's come to the shortcode part, yes. So first we have the actual shortcode that's events and then we have our one and only parameter show tags. So let's publish this page and we will see what it looks like in the front end side and then we will modify this tag over here, right? So let's open this link in a new tab. We will see we are able to achieve the same event listing page we have by default over here. Let's open this link in a new tab as well. So as you can see, we have almost the same scenario over here as well, alongside with this keyword or the filters and the actual events listed over here, alongside with this layout switcher as well, like almost identical to this one. Only difference being this filter by tag section over here, as you can see, it's not visible over here. So how this show tags, this parameters over here takes a boolean value it's either true or it's either false when it's false it hides the filter by tag section on the events listing page so this is a custom event listing page let me tell you that and this is the default event listing page that comes with our event manager so we created this using a shortcode and by using this tag over here and setting it to false will hide the filter by tag section in this page and in case you want to show the tags on that page as well what we can do we can set it to true and then we need to update our page then we can deload our shortcode page and we will see the filter by tag coming back to the life over again right so this page and this page are now totally identical so this is how you create a page with all the events listed in them alongside with feature functionalities just one single line of codes and then we are able to modify the filter by tag section just by including one tag so this was a very short video about explaining how to create a static page for event listing and hide or show filter by tags using just a parameters I hope you found it useful. If you did, a like to the video would be awesome. And being that said, I'm Sharad saying goodbye. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next one.